Hello, vinyl community. <clears throat> I'm back after a long, almost a, tomorrow would be exactly a year since I made uh, a video of my vinyl finds. Um, there's two reasons why. One reason was I didn't have a decent uh, webcam that was that worked right and the other reason is I had uh, between just regular doing you know working and so on and being lazy I just haven't done any uh, continued to buy records continued to watch other people's videos so I thought I'd make a video of um, one of my most recent stacks of records that I've got in various places so let's get started. This one is uh, Venom Black Metal. This is the reissue double album. And um, not only was I excited to find it, but <clears throat> being the reissue, it also both albums are white vinyl. Which I think is sort of funny. It's called Black Metal. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional as an inside joke, or it might have been done in different colors, I'm not sure. But it's my first Venom on vinyl. And I bought this at the same time. Uh, these two records I got at uh, Wooden Nickel in Indiana. That's where I got that. Anyone who's ever been to Wooden Nickel? Twisted Sister, this is the remaster too, or the uh, reissue. And it's pink vinyl. It's sort of clear pink. Sort of see that. And then it came with a poster. And it's sort of funny, the poster is not really from the Stay Hungry era, it's more from the uh, Come Out and Play era. Pretty good sized poster here. Upside down. I'm in a, in a school classroom, which was on the set of the uh, Be Cruel to Your School video, I'm, I'm guessing. So I had to pick that up. I mean, I have like several copies of Stay Hungry, but I didn't have one of those. Okay, and then I just watched a video posted on um, the Facebook vinyl community of uh, Sequoia Flame and he's recently found this and I'd found this I don't know a couple months ago and this copy is not too awful bad and I was sim similar to what he was doing I was holding out and not buying it uh, I sort of wanted the, the re reissue on vinyl of course but um, I was just going to go ahead and buy the CD just so I could have it on my iPod, but I, I decided not to. And then I found this at, um, I found it at uh, Half Price Books. That's where I got that at. And then here's, uh, it's going off on a tangent here, uh, Dick Hyman's uh, harpsichord happening. This is a command record, which is uh, Enoch, Enoch Light's label. I always buy these when I see them if it's one I don't have. It's mostly, almost all their music's almost all instrumental, but it's like Space Age Bachelor Pad. And I've seen this in uh, books and things. It's, um, I'm not real sure if it's, uh, it's like excerpts of different things. It even has Adolf Hitler on here. Uh, stereo Dynamics to scare the hell out of your neighbors. So I had to get that just because I've seen it for years in books, and that's the first time I've really seen it in person. Uh, Fred Lowry, uh, Whistles, Your Gospel Favorites. And I've, I have a couple of his records, but I don't think I have this one. Just for the weird factor, I had to pick it up for. Uh, the New Riders of the Purple Sage. I didn't have this one. This has, um, on Dwight Yoakam's new CD, Three Pairs, 
he does a cover of this song, Dim Lights, Thick Smoke, and Loud, Loud Music. And I hadn't realized, you know, listening, I hadn't heard the song, so I didn't know it was a cover. And then uh, Journey Escape, which I think I had it, but I bought it anyway. And it's to the point, I got so many uh, records that it's to the point where it's getting a little blurry on what I have and what I don't have. So there's some things, some things I know I need an upgrade. And then other things, it's like, hmm, I'll have to get that. It's a good price. And then I come home and possibly run across, oh, I already have one or two copies, whatever. This is Jafria's first album, or I'm sorry, it's their second album, Silk and Steel. And I used to have this on a cassette. MTV used to play a video called um, I Must Be Dreaming. Uh, here's the ELO that I don't think I had. I like to get all of theirs, which I'm pretty much close to getting all of theirs, I think. Joe Walsh, The Confessor. Love the song, but anything by Joe Walsh is good. Here's another ELO. New World Record. This one has um, Do Ya, which was covered by Ace Frehley a few years ago. Simon and Garfunkel, Sounds of Silence. I don't think I had this one. I'm trying to get all theirs too. And here's an odd ball. Amy Faye Baker. I actually like her singing just because I like everything. And, you know, it's sort of weird to like it, I mean. Here's a um, Rolling Stones Miss You single. And on the other side, it's got Far, Far Away Eyes, which I love that song. And it's just the fact that it's a single. Off of some girls. And then I think um, Sequoia Flame showed this one in, this, in his recent video. And it was a Rolling Stones, and I found this one 12 by 5. And then uh, the Bee Gees' first album, which I did not have. I think I have all the rest of them. Uh, Bonzo Dog Band. Which I had this one, but the, mine had writing all over the front of it, so, you know, I decided to, I mean, you don't see this stuff very often, so it's really cool. If you like Captain Beefheart or Frank Zappa, you'll probably like this. Uh, Boston's uh, Don't Look Back. And I didn't have this one. I used to have it on, um, on years ago, I used to have it on vinyl, but what happened to it. And this just looked interesting. Moon Martin, Escape from Domination. This is a perfect example of buying a record based on the cover. I haven't listened to this one yet. So uh, This is... Um, what who is this? Herman's Hermits. Blades. Peter Noon there on the back. And then we have some uh, Paul McCartney with wings. Back to the egg, which I didn't have this one. And then I also picked up this, Wings at the Speed of Sound, just because I already had a copy, but this one still has the wings sticker on it. Quicksilver Messenger Service. This Record's pretty worn, but I don't have I didn't have any of their stuff. And for 99 cents, you know. And another Quicksilver. This one's called called Just for Love. You never had these records. You can tell they've definitely been played, that's for sure. Uh, Adventures, Hellstar, The Lonely Bull. I love the ventures. I love all the instrumental music like um, Link Ray and uh, who's the other guy? Uh, I can't think of his name. Dick Dale. That's it. Spanky in our game. I love to buy a lot of 60s records as well as 70s, but 60s records are a little harder to come by, I think, nowadays. 
Sunshine Company. Happiness is. Just great stuff. Psychedelic. And uh, Kathy McDonald, Insane Asylum. I mean, the, the title would get me to buy it, but uh, she does a version of Heartbreak Hotel, and there's a song on here called Bogart to Bowie. Freak Lover, something else, which is an Eddie Cochran song. So, you know, I haven't listened to that either, but I'm sure it's going to be good. Montrose, didn't have this uh, power money, paper money. I have the first two Montrose, but I didn't have that one. And last of this stack, Stevie Wonder's Talking Book. This is the one Stevie Wonder that I didn't have on vinyl. I have uh, a lot of the other ones, but that's one I w was um, holding out for. I mean, I wouldn't have bought it on CD when I had most of the songs. But So there you go. That's my new video for the last day of 2012. And um, hopefully I'll, if this turns out, I'll keep making videos. See ya.